What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video and today we have another requested video. Uh, salute to my boy It's Hits A Man uh, for requesting this video. This is DTG Alexa. Now he did forewarn me that this one is a little deep, so this cuts deep. So um, if you're, this is the first time of you seeing DTG man, definitely a dope uh, lyricist, knows how to spin a story. He kind of um, fluctuates between DTG and Little Windex, um, but definitely a dope uh, artist. And um, in this one, I'm guessing he's spinning a story with the title of Alexa. Looks like it's dealing with um, a young lady um, or a young girl, probably in high school or something. So I'm low key hype, man. You know, you guys know how I am about my stories. So we gotta go ahead and get into this. If this is the first time of you tuning into the channel, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I do my reaction. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Nobody likes me. Why am I here? I hate going home. I don't get it. I'm never gonna be as good as anybody else. Okay, this is dealing with depression. For sure, for sure. Fun fact, just so you know, Cold War era was 45 years. And it's called the Cold War because not a single shot was fired. Hmm. One of the Cold War reference will come back. I'm not sure. Yo, meet Alexa. She's 17 and hates the motherfucking world. And she's depressed because she thinks it hates it too. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. She's trying to break it loose. So she hit up her friend Rebecca. And Rebecca said, I got these pills that take the pain away. She gave it eight and told her to take one on a rainy day. It'll make it great. You can trust me. But if anybody asks, you say you never got them from me. Say you got them off a of buddy. She said, cool. Put him inside of a jacket pocket, sit by and went back to walking a mile to her dad's apartment and When she got home and dad was sitting on the couch, he said Come here, you stupid bitch, you never listen very well, do you? I told you clean the fucking dishes in the house But she could tell that he was drunk, she smelt the liquor when he yelled But she was scared to say something Cause whenever she talked back, he would flare up and he'd break stuff Or he'd hit her in the pain, wasn't was she? Wanted to deal with at the moment Well I guess it was, but it was her own And it was the feeling of being broken inside of being broken yeah, the feeling of fucking hoping you die Cause you're all alone as you lie There were tears in both of your eyes She did what he asked and went straight to her room And said to herself, don't worry, you'll be escaping this soon She took the pills out of pocket and she popped two on her tongue But before she swallowed them she thought How could I do this to mom? This is the reason she died She thought the drugs Man. helped too Come on Alexa, this is selfish of you But what the hell do I do? And now she's thinking of her mom And so the pain is getting stronger She just wishes she was numb Like I can't take this any longer She swallows the pills and lays back on her bed Until all of it feels like it ain't trapped in her head Yeah, and now we're past And she's now relaxed She starts thinking how was that And wow, that was fast Like, did I just find a solution? Will these really solve my problems Every time that I use them? For the rest of the night She laid there and stared at the ceiling And let the drugs take her away Without a care or a feeling Good night the next morning she woke up and she was feeling like shit Another day of wishing that she didn't even exist And not to mention it's a Monday, so she's got school Which she hates fucking going to cause she's not cool And all she could think about was how she felt the night before That little time there was no problems in her life no more She got to class and went and sat beside a friend The only real one she had that had her back until the end, yeah They started talking and she told her about her weekend Cause she trusts her with her secrets and she knows of all her demons She told her about about the pills and how they had made her happy She said, don't be mad at me I'll just take some if I need them badly a friend looked at her and said, just be careful Don't you remember what had happened to Daryl? Rest in peace He got some drugs off a friend But it happened to be a bad batch You have a life, Alexa Daryl doesn't have that When school had finished She had hopped on the bus She sat alone because nobody really talked to her much And for the whole ride home Well, she just looked out the window And thought about life And the times that it was good and was simple 30 minutes later and she's back on the steps at the same spot that she's been trying all she can to forget Yeah, she goes to walk inside the door but as she's coming in her dad is standing there He's fucking drunk again, he's stumbling I told you take the trash out this morning Like where the fuck you been? No wonder no one loves you You remind me of your mother then She remembers if 
as she goes and takes a pill She can ignore this all right now and all the pain It won't be real, it will be gone, it won't be there It won't feel like no one cares So that's exactly what she does She turns and goes right up the stairs Into her room and lifts the mattress up She grabs the drugs Fuck it, I have had enough She takes them all Now let me think of happy stuff But as she's waiting for the hurt to go away She cannot help but think of what her friend said earlier today Like what if I got a bad one I wonder what the chances are Whatever, they make me feel the best I ever have so far She shut her eyes and started praying to her mom Like, dear mom, if you can hear me Please will you save me from Everything because I'm lost without you close by my side And I guess her mom must have hurt her Cause when the morning arrived She never opened her eyes R.I.P. Alright, we're gonna stop it right here, man. Um, so let's get into this, man. Uh, DTG, Alexa, um, you guys know how I feel about a story, man. Definitely love the story aspect. But let's just deal with this real quick, bro. Listen, if no one else tells you this, man, learn how to love yourself for who you are, bro. I know that social media is kind of driven to get likes and attention, but like and, and attend to yourself, bro. Like, you don't necessarily need someone else's validation in order for you to accept you. Um, but I love the way that DTG explained this story because this is kind of prevalent to, to um, real life issues, bro. Um, in this story, we have Alexa um, and basically her mom passed she's her dad i'm guessing he's dealing with the hurt and the pain from her passing so he took up drinking so he's not the best man that he could be she has to deal with that at home when she goes to school she's not the most popular she may have one or two friends um and so she feels isolated she feels alone um and at a point decides hey you know the best thing for me is not to be here that is such a lie, bro. Your existence is valuable, bro. You being here is valuable. Um, and don't let anyone undersell your value, bro. Like, you literally add value to everyday life. Whether um, you're, you know, you're artistic or uh, whether you're a person that's a problem solver. Like, there are special things about you that only you know. So be you, like appreciate you. Um, it's so easy to look at situations and think, well, that person has it easy. You don't know the ins and outs of that person's situation or their scenario. Um, the reality of, of life is, is that we all deal with hardships. We all deal with crazy and wonky stuff. Now, it may not be as extreme as the Alexa situation, but we all deal with our extremes. That's what life is. Um, but taking your life, ending your life should never be an option, bro. It should never come to that. And no matter how hard you think it is, bro, if you allow that situation and you're able to get through the situation, get the help that you need, reach out to people to help you, especially in a domestic situation, bro, it builds character. Um, for you, you know how to um, help others in that situation. You can be the voice to help someone else out of that scenario. So don't always think that, um, you know, basically you're in a no-win situation. You can't get out, bro. Your life is valuable. You only get to do this once. Don't let anyone allow you to forfeit what was given to you. Like it's a gift. It was given to you experience life man and enjoy yourself um the other thing is and it it touched on in this track man um with the drugs and the pills bro that is temporary relief bro there there hasn't been a person yet that was on drugs like yo this is the best thing ever it solved all my issues it's temporary bro and it never really solves the problem it only exacerbates the issue so you have to get to a point to where you actually deal with you. Like you literally look yourself in the face and say, what is missing? What is it that I'm looking for? And you begin to start either repairing, healing, or growing within yourself, bro. Like I'm keeping it a buck with you. Um, <laughs> you have to love you. Like you can't look for validation on the outside. 
because then people control you, they control your emotions, they can control your thoughts and what you do. And at the point that you allow someone else to control you, you've given up your free will. You've given up the ability to think for yourself, bro. And that's nowhere to live. They weren't the ones that actually gave you the option of life, so they shouldn't be able to dictate and control what you consider life to be. But that's my thoughts on it, man. I definitely love the track, definitely love the vantage point that DTG went to um, and him dealing with some real life situations um, that happens basically every day, bro. And um, not just dealing with it, but also adding help at the end. There was a helpline at the end for those that may be dealing with it. You can reach out. Like, I love when artists um, give you art, but they also give you a solution to the problem. Like, I'm gonna present you with the scenario and then I'm gonna give you the answer to that scenario at the end. Um, so it was definitely dope the way that he went about this track. Um, I mean, the story, it, it like, like Hissa said, man, it's deep. It's, it touches, it tugs on the heart, bro, because there are people that, like Alexa that deal with this every day, man. And they don't necessarily get uh, people that give them wise counsel or, you know, help them in that scenario. Um, like, there was the one friend that gave her the pills. You know, her intent was just to help out. But that would never help her. It actually ended up being her demise. Like... You know, like, you have to be careful when you depend on other people. Um, sorry about the noise, guys. We're, I'm, I'm in Florida. We're, you know, it's hurricane season. We got thunderstorms and all that jazz. So that's the background noise. It's not, it's not CGI. I didn't add that in. But, <laughs> but yeah, man, um, definitely was dope for me, man. Definitely salute to Hitsa for requesting this vid, man. Um, DTG, you did your thing, bruh. Um, and you definitely brought awareness to uh, this situation. And like I said, if you take nothing else from this vid, bruh, love you for you, bruh. Don't allow anyone else to dictate what you love about you. Self, self-validate yourself. Like, you don't need anyone else to tell you that you're great. Um, and I know this from personal experience, man. Jumping on YouTube, man, you want to be liked, you want to be loved, you want your channel to grow. But it's better if you are 100% authentic with who you are because eventually um, you'll run into a situation where if you're being fake, you'll be found out for being fake, bro. And then there comes that thought of what do I do now? Why? Because you weren't real with yourself, bro. Um, you got to be you 110% of the time. And that's not even metrically or percent correct. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> you gotta love yourself, man. Um, but yeah, man, this was definitely dope. So uh, definitely enjoyed this video. Definitely enjoyed, um, you know, what he portrayed in this video. This is some real life, hard hitting stuff, bro. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, just so that you guys are aware, um, there will be two other videos after this that I'll be dropping today and three tomorrow. And then we're going to get back on our regular video upload um, a day. So I know that you guys were probably wondering like, yo, you kind of like hit and miss. Well, I'm one of those. I'm not full, a full-time YouTuber, so I don't do this full-time. Um, so I work. And my hours are like 10.30 to 7. Bro. So um, during the times where I was missing, I literally was working like 7 a.m. to like 9 p.m., bro. Like, I was always working. So um, now that's kind of calmed down so I can get back to working on the channel, getting you guys content and stuff. Um, it's not an excuse, it's just what happened. Um, so we're back on this grind, man. So definitely let me know what vids that you guys would like uh, to see. I'm gonna try to get through, so there's so many videos that drop. Um, so I'm gonna try to get through those within the next videos um, so definitely look out for those but also let me know what other videos and we'll see how we can work those in uh, but anyways guys we're gonna keep this moving make sure you stay locked to this channel your videos coming up next make sure you smash that like subscribe if you're new and I will catch you guys in the next one until then shady crew stay shady out there